one of the most powerful sentences in the proclamation just read is that bit where it says we declare the right of the Irish people to the ownership of Ireland. They weren't talking about a certain number of counties. They were talking about every single one, including mine, of Ireland's 32 counties. <coughs> and of course, when we look at the example of these people who went out, not for themselves, but to liberate a nation, not people who thought that at some stage in the future there would be an advantage for them through the bankers and through the developers. No, that wasn't what inspired the leaders of 1916. What inspired the leaders of 1916 was an Ireland where all of the children of the nation would be treated equally. And of course, when we look at the enforced austerity by the coalition in Dublin and the coalition in London, as a very antithesis of everything that the rising and the proclamation envisaged. <coughs> to stand for the ideals of 1916, for me anyway, must mean standing against austerity and standing up for the vulnerable and those unable to care for themselves and the working poor north and south. 